Hi everyone, welcome to the 8th lecture of the series on sliding mode control. In this lecture, we will discuss about suboptimal controller, which is a second order sliding mode controller. We start with the basic idea and the derivation of suboptimal controller. Then we discuss its simulation with some example. In general, the suboptimal controller is comes under the class of higher order sliding mode control approaches and it is basically a second order sliding mode controller. And the suboptimal controller can be applied to the nonlinear system as in equation number one. And we consider the sliding variable as in equation number two. Now in the case of second order SMC, the control input U appears in the second derivative of the sliding variable S. And in that case, we can represent S double dot as in equation number three where a of tx and b of tx are some unknown functions of the state vector which are assumed to be bounded. Now we can have a suboptimal control law as in equation number 4 in which r1 is the switching gain and s star is chosen as the initial value of s0. This is one of the suboptimal control law from a time optimal control perspective and in the case of suboptimal SFC control law we modify this control law by adding an additional term called r2 signum of s star and we modify s star as the value of s at s dot equal to 0. So this control law we call as the suboptimal control law and this control law we call as the suboptimal SMC control law. So we can see that this is basically an extension of this control law. Next, we can try to distinguish between optimal and suboptimal. So here we are considering a time optimal control problem and our objective is to reach a desired state from an initial state in minimum time where we consider the control input is bounded by a minimum value of minus one and a maximum value of plus one. In that case we can show that the time optimal control input will be switching between the values of plus one and minus one and for plus one the state trajectory will be following a parabola like this and for minus one it will be following a parabola like this. This we have also observed from the previous case of twisting controller and uh, Ceno phenomenon. Here we are considering the initial state as 1 minus 1 and the desired state of the terminal state as 0 0 which is the origin. Here this red curve shows the time optimal trajectory where we can reach from this initial state to the desired state in only one switching. For this period the control input will be minus 1 and for this period the control input will be plus 1. Here any other trajectory can be considered as suboptimal trajectory and here this green curve shows a suboptimal state trajectory where we can reach origin in two switchings and this is corresponding to the control law as given in equation number four. Now in the case of suboptimal SMC we modify this control law so that we can have a sliding mode behavior. Next we derive the convergence criterion for suboptimal controller which can ensure stability. For s greater than s star by 2, the control input with the suboptimal SMC will result in equation number 6 and for s less than s star by 2, the control input will be as given in equation number 7. So here we can see that the control input will switch between these two values. And in the fourth quadrant, for s greater than s star by 2, we have this control input results in equation number 8. And in the fourth quadrant, the state trajectory will be bounded by the trajectory for minimum value of s double dot, which is corresponding to equation number 9. Here the c, k1 and k2 are the bounds of the uncertainties, which are defined as in the previous lecture. Now by multiplying both sides of this equation by 2 s dot and then integrating and rearranging, we can obtain s dot square as in equation number 10. Now for s less than s star by 2 we have s double dot will be as in equation number 11 and here the state trajectory will be bounded by the minimum value of s double dot which is as given in equation number 12 and proceeding as before we can obtain s dot square as in equation number 13. Now in equation number 10 if we substitute s equal to s1 we can obtain s0 minus s1 as equation number 14 and in this equation 13 if we substitute s equal to s1 we can obtain s2 minus s1 as in equation number 15. This figure shows the sliding trajectory for suboptimal controller. Here we are considering s0 as the initial value of the sliding variable for which s dot equal to 0 and therefore the s star will be initially equal to s0. Therefore the sliding trajectory will start from the point s0 0 and this trajectory follows this path 
and whenever s crosses s star by 2 or s 0 by 2 the control input will switch its value and s dot starts decreasing its magnitude so then it goes like this and eventually then s dot will again become zero at uh, s equal to s 2 which is at, at this point then the control will again start switching and after that we update s star as s 2 then it goes like this whenever it reaches s2 by 2 the control input again switches and it then again goes like this so here s2 minus s1 is this distance and s0 minus s1 is this distance for a converging trajectory what we are considering is the ratio of s2 minus s1 and s0 minus s1 so basically the ratio of this distance to this distance you can observe that if this distance is three times of this distance in that case the state trajectory will be hitting here at s2m and it follows like this it will basically results in a limit cycle therefore for a converging trajectory what we require is the ratio of s2 minus s1 divided by s0 minus s1 should be less than 3 that will gives this criteria where we require s1 minus s2 by s0 minus s1 should be less than 3 so for q equal to 3 the trajectory does not converge it will goes to a limit cycle and if q is less than 3 it will starts converging to origin and if q is less than 1 then the trajectory will converge to origin monotonically from this equation we can obtain the condition for convergence in the case of suboptimal controller as in equation number 18 which gives a criteria for selecting the switching gains given the bounds of the uncertainties next we move on to the simulation of suboptimal controller and for that we consider a simple pendulum system as given in equation number 19 the sliding variable is chosen as the output error where r is the reference output and x1 or the position is considered as the actual output then the suboptimal controller is defined as in equation number 20 where the switching gains are chosen as 15 and 5 now in order to improve the suboptimal controller we need to estimate the value of s dot and for that we can use this sliding mode differentiator as given in equation number 21 and the simulation parameters are selected as in equation number 22 this figure shows the plot of s versus s dot in the case of suboptimal controller where we can see that both s and s dot are converging to zero this shows the response of the system with the suboptimal controller where we can see the plot of the actual output and the reference output and with the suboptimal control law the state is converging to the reference output and this shows the plot of the sliding variable and here we can see that the sliding variable is converging to zero and this is the estimation of s dot and here we can see the control signal which shows that the control input is switching between four different values which are 20 10 -10 -20 the matlab codes for this simulation can be downloaded from the link given in the description that completes this lecture thanks for listening